Yo, I was really fat, y'all. Man, I was tired. Well, hello. How are you? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, how y'all doing? I'm excited. This is a well, well overdue video. As you can see by the title, we are talking about keto and my experience, my journey, everything you need to know about keto, I'm here to talk about it. So before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe. Yes, I see my subscribers going up day by day. I'm so appreciative. Thank you for subscribing if you are already subscribed. If not, go ahead and click the button. While you're at it, click the bell as well. And also be sure to follow me on my socials if you have not already. So the first question is, what the hell is keto? Like, keto, 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 keto. Like, what? Keto is everywhere. Like, they got it damn near about to be in, I think, Chick-fil-A, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's give the dictionary reason as to what, I mean, excuse me, the dictionary description for what keto is. So, the ketogenic diet is a very low-carb, high-fat diet that shares many similarities with the Atkins and low-carb diets. This reduction in carbs puts your body into a metabolic state called ketosis. Okay? It involves drastically reducing carbohydrate intake and replacing it with fat. It is designed to help you lose weight rapidly. Like, baby, you're going to lose weight fast, sis. Like, <laughs> the guys too, because it's not just for women. So, um, let me get into now, how long did I do keto? So, I personally did keto for three months. Um, probably a little bit longer than that, but it was like, probably like three, three months and like three and a half, I say. So I had, I don't know if y'all know, but I was a little heavier. I wasn't like OD big or anything like that. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all, y'all already didn't saw everything. I posted the pictures. I did it all. So I was weighing in at 175 and this was about August last year I started. I remember it was right when the summer hit. Y'all, for the longest time, I did not want to stop eating like bad. I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck. Like at this point, look, give me the donuts, give me the Chick-fil-A, give me the pizza. I want it all, soda, juice, everything. I was eating and drinking everything and I was not going to the gym. I didn't even think about going to the gym. I tell you, every minute I had to, to sleep or take a nap, I was, I was out like, yo, I said to my mom, I said, Yo, I feel the weight on me around my midsection. It felt heavy. I felt tired. And I say, I'm going to change. I'm going I'm, I'm to make a change. Remember, I was online, you know, on YouTube. And I had looked up some stuff, you know, diets and all that. They were saying all types of diets. But I'm like, man, I'm not trying to eat no just grass and no military. The military diet, I think you just eat like eggs and grapefruit and I wasn't doing that. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that because I'm going to quit. Like, I already know how I am. Suggested videos show this lady, she was, I don't, and I'm not, this ain't coming at nobody, but she was big. Like, she was, I think she was like 300 and something pounds and she had an after picture and she had lost so, like almost 100 and something pounds, y'all. No lie. Look, no cap. <laughs> she had lost so much weight and she's you know in the title it says something about keto so I started looking up the keto diet I mean when I say I saw videos on videos on videos I'm like damn this is real like this is real I said you know what fuck it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I told myself I'm gonna do it so I goes on you know Google start looking up you know the foods you can eat all different websites so I found out what foods I can eat, what foods I couldn't eat. And to be honest, it was it was a major difference. Because, you know, I was eating a bunch of pizza and all that type stuff. But the food list was not bad. It wasn't something that I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't think I can do this. I was like, I can do this. Like, this ain't, this is not that bad. So, I end up finding out the percentage that you are supposed to consume of each category. So, I, I, I forgot. I show y'all like a description or something or you either post something on a video, but it gives you a breakdown. It shows you how much percentage of fat you should be intaking, how much percentage of carbs, and how much percentage of protein. So I'm like, okay, well how do I find out how much I am supposed to be intaking? Goes on the apps on my phone. I'm like, with keto apps, carb, 
I mean, I was looking up every type of app you can think of, and I came across this car manager app. That's the name of the app. I'm going to show y'all like a little, a little picture of the app. Baby, when I tell you this app changed my life, <laughs> I'm dead ass though. Like, so I download the app or whatever. So, you know, you putting in your information, your name. My most thing, the most important things that I was focusing on was my height, my weight, what my goal was as to how much weight I wanted to lose. I think it's like an airplane, y'all. And then my age. So I plug all that in. Then it has a breakdown of the percentages that I was talking about. So I plug them in. I'm like, okay, cool. When I tell y'all, after I finish plugging everything in, it gives you a breakdown of how much you should be consuming each day. So the net carbs, I'm not sure if y'all know what net carbs are. Those are what you want to track. So the net carbs are the carbs minus the fiber. Bet you ain't know that, did you? Ha ha! The good thing that I like about this app is that when you search the foods in the app, most of the foods are accurate. Like they're already in the app. And on top of that, it allows you to scan the food. So if I want to know how many carbs, even though you can look on the back, but you want to scan it in so that it add on to your intake that day it give you a whole list so i did breakfast i did a, a snack i did lunch i did another snack and then i did dinner that was how i broke it up every single day so for breakfast i would scan my spinach i would scan my eggs i would scan and i would know how much i need to eat i did that for like three strong months y'all no lie i remember no lie like it was yesterday y'all i looked in the mirror one day i'm gonna get into the, the workouts and stuff too because i worked out too y'all i remember y'all i woke up one day and i'm like I'm skinny like <laughs> I look in the mirror I'm like yo I'm skinny like yo I lost weight like I didn't even notice yo no lie this was after like three months of working out and eating right I was like yo my body is like oh my gosh like for real I get into the workout part of it so I didn't do any drastic working out like people think that I was like hardcore doing some crazy strenuous workout I actually didn't majority of my workout like 90% of my workouts consist of straight cardio, like straight cardio. But I'm telling you, y'all, when I tell y'all the elliptical machine, baby, the elliptical, y'all know which one it is. The one y'all don't like to get on, y'all, y'all try to hide from that one that do this. Yeah, that's the elliptical. That one that works every part of your body, your legs, your arms, your back, your sides, your stomach everything it literally works everything so i was on that jank like this but i ain't start out like that i started out slow i started out on like level five or four to so come in the gym and the, the elliptical machine was the very first machine in the gym a lot of people keep asking me how i lost weight this bitch right here this machine Hey, this will shed you fast as hell. I was setting small goals while I was on the elliptical. Like, yo, I remember the first time it took me a long time to get to a mile. I don't remember exactly how long, but it took me a long time. And I was like, yo, next time I come here, I'm going to do this amount. And I'm going to get to a mile in this amount of time. Next time I come. And I was just telling myself, y'all, no lie. I ended up on level 20. Y'all heard me. 20. In three months, I end up on level 20, y'all. Like, <laughs> yes. And I documented the whole thing, y'all. I have a whole highlight on my Instagram. If y'all want to go check it out, I told y'all, y'all should follow me. The whole transformation, y'all. Whole transformation. So y'all go check that out. But I'm going to also insert some pictures so y'all can see what I used to look like. Y'all probably like, that wasn't you. Nobody believed that I looked like that under my clothes. How much weight did I lose off of keto? So, y'all, I lost a total of 30 pounds. 30 pounds, y'all. Like, 30. I weigh currently 145. I was 175. That's just so unbelievable to me. Like, you have to have a very determined mindset to lose weight, y'all. It is not easy at all. Did I get the keto flu? That's like a flu um, I've heard within like a week or two that you get from, you know, your body just changing or whatever like that. I didn't get the keto flu. I didn't feel any type of nausea or light weight or nothing like that. Only weight I felt was that weight dropping off. Okay. I also did 
teamy blends if y'all familiar with teamy blends comment below let me know let me know let me know teamy bent blends excuse me colon tea i'm gonna put like a picture or something on here i drunk that i believe like a week or two before i started my keto diet as well as while I was on my keto diet. I sell my own keto meal plan, y'all. It is available anytime. So if you guys are interested, comment below. Send me an email. My email is in my description box below. If you guys like the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have so much more coming for y'all. It's about to be a new year. New year, new goals. You already know. So yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye!